Yesterday, Anthropic did something that should terrify every IDE on the planet and probably excite every developer who has ever rage quit VS Code because of one missing bracket. They turned Slack, yes, the app where your team spends 70% of its time sending memes and pretending to work, into a fully operational coding environment. And I know what you're thinking. Another AI integration? Great, Claude can now send GIFs. But no, this is different. This is Slack quietly mutating into a development platform. The place where code doesn't just get discussed, it gets written, reviewed, patched, documented, and shipped. It's the closest thing we've seen yet to a chat window replacing your IDE. And whether that excites you or terrifies you depends entirely on how many unread messages you currently have. And here it is important to explain how Jelvik sees it. For decades, coding was isolated. Your editor was the temple. Everything else, Slack, Jira, GitHub, calendars, coffee machines, orbited around it. But that model is collapsing. Anthropic essentially looked at the modern dev workflow and said, what if the IDE wasn't the center anymore? What if the conversation was? And suddenly Slack became the gravitational force. Because now, instead of copying error logs into ChatGPT, instead of switching Windows 17 times just to write a unit test, you simply tag at Claude in the same chaotic thread where three people are arguing about naming conventions and one guy is posting cat pictures. And somehow, despite the noise, Claude understands the context of the entire conversation and generates production-ready code. We in Agelvix called it a shift toward collaborative-first programming, which is a polite way of saying, your IDE is no longer the boss, your Slack channel is. Let me give you an example. Imagine a typical day. Someone reports a bug, someone else panics, someone else blames caching, and then the senior engineer says, I'll check it later, which scientifically means never. Normally, this turns into seven threads and a JIRA ticket nobody will read. But now, <laughs> you drop the logs into Slack, tag Claude, and it instantly analyzes the stack trace, identifies the failing function, explains the root cause, and generates the patch. Right there. In the same window you used to complain about the coffee machine. This is not a copy-paste assistant. This is an agent. A bot that participates in your workflow the same way a junior engineer would. Except it doesn't sleep doesn't ask for raises, and absolutely does not care about code-style debates. Of course, nothing this powerful comes without risk. Let's be honest. Slack is basically the Wild West. Your engineers paste API keys. They paste database URLs. They paste things that absolutely should not be pasted. And now Claude sees all of it. Security teams are already sweating because context is both Claude's superpower and its biggest threat vector. If your team uses Slack like a digital landfill, congratulations. Your AI assistant now has access to the whole landfill. Then there's workflow fragility. We've now reached a point where Slack goes down, your communication dies, your AI assistant dies, your development pipeline begins to twitch uncontrollably. Anthropic didn't just add a feature. They added a dependency. A dependency your entire workflow might quietly adopt without anyone noticing. But let me be clear, this is not the death of the IDE. Not yet. Your editor still matters. It's still the place where you feel code, where you navigate architecture, where you fix bugs with that mysterious sixth sense only developers have. Slack is not replacing your IDE. Slack is replacing the distance between the idea and the implementation. Look at any high-performing team and you'll notice something. The bottleneck isn't writing code. It's everything around it. Switching context, re-explaining issues, hunting for old messages, recreating missing context. Every part of your script writing framework emphasizes this. At Jelvix, we believe this shift marks the beginning of a new engineering era, where the conversation becomes the workflow and collaboration becomes the development environment. And if you want to learn how we help companies adopt these technologies, visit jelvix.com for more insights.